Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last session, we discussed about three-tier architecture. Now we will practically implement the three-tier architecture in this session. The next further videos also. So, here in our solution explorer, we have taken four projects. One is presentation layer, other one is business logic layer, another one is data access layer, and the other one is business objects. So actually in our project there are basically two types of modules are there, one is admin, other one is customer. The role of admin is, admin will add the bus details, admin will add the pickup points, admin will add the destination points, admin will add bus pickup points, admin will add bus destinations, and all the details. So initially I want to design one master place. So I'll go to the presentation layer, right click here you can see I want to add a new item add new item and here i want to select web forms with master page or uh, here you can see a template called web form master page is it clear web forms master page the extension of master page is dot master we cannot directly execute the master page so i will give something like uh, uh, main master dot master some name i have given Actually, I want to implement two master pages in our project. So, this is the first main uh, master page. So, click on add button. So, what is the use of master page? Master page is generally used to maintain some part of the web page constant throughout your website. So, if you want some uh, uh, more knowledge on master pages, you can watch my video. Master pages by Kannababu. If you type, it will come. So here in, in our project we are trying to design the web page by using the master page. So here you see, whenever you add the master page by default uh, a pink color rectangle box will be appear which is called as content placeholder. Right click on content placeholder, cut the content placeholder. And now keep your cursor within the div tag, go to the table, insert table. Here I will write something like number of rows 3 number of columns 3 click on ok or uh, no need of 3 uh, columns I will try to delete it here you see number of rows 3 columns 2 and uh, here I will try to paste the content placeholder here you see right click and paste and here I will try to select the entire first row right click modify merge cells and here also I will try to select the entire second row also right click modify merge cells so my after uh, designing my master page will look like this this is A part this is B part this is C part this is D part D part is my content placeholder in A part I will go to the toolbox and here I will try to drag and drop one image control in A part is it clear and in B part I will try to drag and drop mm, menu control. Here you see under navigation controls you are having one menu control. I will try to drag and drop menu control in B part. And similarly I will try to drag and drop tree view control in C part. So after designing the master page will look like this. In A part I dragged one image. In B part one menu control. And in C part one tree view control. So I want to display one image in A part. So first of all, I'll go to the Solution Explorer, and within the presentation layer, I'll create one new folder. Right click, add new folder, rename the folder as Images. Now right click on Images folder, add existing item, and here I will try to select one image from my desktop. So here you see, within my desktop, I have one folder called Travel. There I have one image, something like one. Is it clear? Now here select the image, go to the properties, press F4 or you can simply right click on the control, there you can see properties window and within that image control you are having a property called image URL, right click go to the properties, here you can see one property called image URL, right, so select the image URL, ellipse button and select the images select the image here on dot png okay now i want to display one image within your a part 
within the a part i want to display one image is it clear i want to make it very simple so i'm just i'm trying to adjust the image here so here you see this is my travel biz project a simple image i have displayed with my a part and in b part uh, right click on menu control go to the properties here you see a property called orientation just by default the orientation is vertical i want to display as horizontal and here you can select the menu control auto format and here you can select the colorful click on okay if you want you can increase the bold and here you can increase the size also similarly select the tribu control ellipse button auto format select whatever the format you want you can select here this also you can keep bold now uh, here within your uh, um, menu control this is your content placeholder so whatever the design you have done within the content placeholder it will vary from one web page to another web page what is the use of master page master page is generally used to maintain some part of the web page constant throughout your website so what are the design that you have done within the content place holder only the design will vary from one page to what another page remaining design is constant so here select the menu control properties here menu control will have a properties called items uh, properties there select the items ellipse button and here you can add the root item root item root item select the root item the text you can give as what home similarly select another root item the text i will give as about us about us another root item the text i will try to give as contact us and another root item the text i will try to give as something like login and uh, another root item the text i will give as something like bus schedule something like this right okay these are enough initially here also if you want you can give the preview control will have a property called nodes same like items in menu control here you have the nodes property right here you can select uh, the text i'll give as home and here i'll give the text as about us about us and here the i'll give the text as contact us click on okay so this is my design after the design if you want here i will try to uh, paste something like my here you see just you can write some copyrights here throughout your project some copyrights should be displayed here right that's it if you want you can reduce the font also so throughout your website your copyrights also will be displayed so anyway this is your design of your master page so after designing here i will try to build the solution we cannot directly execute the master page if you want to execute you have to uh, take a separate aspx space and integrate the master page within that aspx space so here go to the project add new item i will add one uh, web forms uh, something like uh, here i will try to add one web form with master page and the name of that particular page i will try to give as home home.aspx home.aspx click on add button here you select the master page click on okay so go to the design here you see the entire design is constant throughout your website only what are the design you have done within the content place holder it will vary simply here i will display one message saying that welcome to home page that's it what are the if you want to do any design here you can do similarly go to the project add new item select web form with master page the name i will try to give here is about us about us dot aspx okay and go to the design here also you can give something like welcome to about us page is it clear similarly you can go to project add new item select web form with master page the name i will try to give here as 
contact us dot aspx i don't want to waste your time so simply i want to display one message if you want to do any design you can design contact us please is it clear similarly here i'll try to go to the project add new item select web form with master page here you can take login login dot aspx click on add button okay button go to the design here you go to the toolbox and here uh, we are having one control called login control so simply drag and drop the login control from the toolbox and here you can select the auto format colorful okay is it clear and here you can give bold and you can give the double x large also and now go to the main master dot master page select the menu control go to the properties here you can see edit menu items home navigate url properties home dot aspx similarly about us navigate url here you give about us dot aspx similarly contact us navigate url contact us dot aspx similarly login navigate url you can give login dot aspx and here also okay similarly menu con tribu control you select edit notes here also you can see the property navigate url something like home dot aspx and similarly about us navigate url here you can write about us dot aspx similarly contact us navigate url contact us dot aspx okay now go to your solution explorer and here you can see right click on home dot aspx set as start page and press f5 so here you see home page about us page contact us page login so here when you click on login if you get any error saying that web forms on our previous validation mode requires a script resource mapping of jquery means here you do one thing as we are developing the project in visual studio 2000 uh, 13 just go to web dot config file and remove this code http runtime target framework is equals to 4.5 and again restart and check the output i hope your error will be rectified now here i will click on login is it clear so this is my design of my page right in the next video i will try to explain you how to write the code for this login screen right for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, um you can log into my facebook group thank you have a nice day